What you doing, Dave? Well, I have an uh, air leak going on in the truck when I have it hooked up to the trailer. So I'm feeling it's part of the uh, trailer brake system. So I'm going to test that to see, try to find this air leak. We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. I took off the glad hand, the feed for the tank, and I'm going to cap it. Why the red one? So, well, that supplies the air to the... Trailer? Trailer. Oh, okay. And it seems that you say that you can only hear the leak when the trailer's hooked up and the air supply's on. So if I cap that, it'll pressurize this system. Okay. And I'll, you know, when I pull the knob in the, uh, or push the knob in the, in the cab, it'll pressurize the system and then we can check the truck for air leaks. So I'm just going to cap that. It might leak a little bit back here, but we should be able to detect this leak from the other leaks. And you're talking about the leak I hear up by the engine. Yeah. So what are your steps here? Start the truck, obviously. Start the truck, let it build the pressure, push this knob in, this red knob. What's oh, that? the trailer supply. Okay. And shut the truck off and listen for air leaks. It's leaking. I can feel the air. Can you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull that knob out. Yeah. It stopped. In here, this lower one, Let me this see. The orange one. Put your put your hand in there. Oh yeah. Can you unsnap those and so you can kind of move them around a little bit, be able to get to it? Maybe. Well, you want to do soapy water? Boy, I hate to rock all these around. You know, all these two cables here. Those are the battery cables. Is it helping? Yeah, you can see a bubble. Has to be the one that's the hardest to get to. There just ain't no other way around it. So it looks like you're setting up to uh, do some work here. A little bit. I'm not using the nozzle on of this because I'm using flux wire. I don't need to pump gas through it. And plus I can, you can see what you're doing a little bit easier. I want to be able to grab a hold of this line and push it forward. There's one in their truck, so I'm going to take this pliers and I'm going to weld it to this nut. It's a 3 8 nut. And that's a 3 8 line. And I'm going to offset it like that, so obviously the, the tube can go past the pliers. And once I weld this nut on there, on both jaws, here and here, then I'll take a little Dremel and cut this nut in two. So you open up your... So it can open and close. Okay. So I can grab a hold of the tube. And plus also, these quick connect fittings, you have to press that ring in, this little ring right here and pull on a tube to get the old tube out and then pull this ring out and there's a seal in there you got to dig out and replace the seal and then put this ring back in and stick the old tube back in so it seals well that's what you're going to be doing yeah because what happened in the truck the seal in there has gone bad with that nut and say if the tube's still in it 
that nut I can reach in here with the pliers and press against this ring real hard to pull the old tube out. Yeah, these are the seals right here. 3 8 inch seals for these air fittings. And I had to buy a hundred of them from Amazon for six bucks. But, and to make a tool to do it, still cheaper, way cheaper than paying a hundred and what is it, 60 bucks for uh, an hour. An hour <laughs> to have some uh, garage do it. So, so this will end up costing you about what? Yeah, altogether about maybe 18 bucks. So you put a rubber band around it. it. Yeah. I guess I could. You're not going to burn me, are you? I hope not if you hold it back here. Can I hold it like that? Yeah. Because I'll be closing my eyes. Yeah. Will it get hot? No. Not down there. It right there. Open it up and see. Oh, okay. So and we get the little tube here. Yeah, that's how that goes. Like that. So, so it's a good grab. Oh yeah, real good grab. That's why you used a nut, huh? Yep, because it's got the th threads in there that give it like teeth. This will be up in here, like that. I'll come up in here and push that collar with this as I'm pulling that, and boom. Excellent. And then to put it in, I just grab a hold of it and run it up in there. I don't want to poke a hole in the airline. Get a little flag off of there? Yeah. Well, I gotta fight my way through all this. It's gotta be the hardest one to get to, of course. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There it goes. Popped it. Come on out of there. Oh, you bitch. something else. Getting it back in is going to be fun. Yeah! That's if I ever get it out. Got it. Let's see. How are you going to get the ring out of there now? Good question. One, one, one trip at a time. <laughs> up in here. I gotta grab a hold of it and pull it out. There's that little brass fitting right there in the middle. There's a ring around the outside of it that has to be pulled out, a brass ring. And then there's a rubber seal up in there. And that's what I gotta pull that brass ring out of there. Try this again. Got it. Da, 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 da. The hose goes through here. And then there's a seal down in there. This hose sticks through here and it clamps onto that thing. Oh, dental pick. Yep. Yeah. Gonna try that. Just to get the ring out? Yep. Yeah. The seal? Yeah, the little. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All I gotta do now is figure out how to get my hand in there. Who 
what'd you have to what'd you do i had to heat that up and bend a little hook into it uh-huh put a pair of ice grips in there and you kept picking and picking where's it at this is what's left of it that was it came out in tiny little pieces oh wow so you're right the seal was all messed up look at that. how crispy it is oh yeah hard as a look at that boom yeah hard as a rock we got to shove this up in the hole and put this barris ring back in brake cleaner you always use a brake cleaner uh, just to wash the stuff out oh out of the uh yeah connection there yeah get to it. Now this is going to be fun. Inside something. I wonder if I can, it's going inside. If I can use this to guide it in there. Might need something narrower than that. get it? I think so. Oh. It's just a piece of airline. To shove that ring yeah. all the way in there? All right, something a little longer to get up in there. It appears to be up in there. Okay, so that worked, huh? Then you put the fitting back in. I don't want to try to damage this thing. Now you just gotta get the hose back on it, right? Yep. There it is. Okay, nice clean cut. I just gotta jam that bad boy back in the fitting, huh? Yeah. And it's in. Put the glad hands, air pressure lines back on the truck. And then we can test it out, see if we got it fixed. So now you're in here taking your panel off by the dash. What's up with that? I want to look at the airlines going through the firewall. Oh. And we are underneath the steering wheel here, and it's leaking in here too. Now he's got to do that one. That one's easy to get to. Though. There's a seal on this side too? There's a the collar, yep. Yeah, I can see it yeah, pretty well. You can go in there and look. See the little green thing down in there? It's a green seal down in there. Uh huh. And it has to be replaced. Get it? Let's see what kind of shape that's in. Oh. The other part's still in there, but yeah, I mean, it's. It's, uh, it's crispy. Crispy, crispy critter. <laughs> okay. Brake fluid cleaner. Or cleaner. You just tuck the seal down in here. There it goes. Just like that. Look at that. Ha! We will. Push that back on it, like that. Grab a hold of our hose. This end looks pretty good. No watch, tuber. Done. Okay, pull that red knob, or push it in. No bubblies. And I hear no air. 
Yay! Didn't know it was going to be on both both sides of the no, didn't know. firewall. How long did this take? Uh, all together, what would you say? Probably about three hours yeah, all together. Yeah. yeah. It was not easy because of the location. Inside was inside was ten cake minutes. Walk, cakewalk. Yeah. Outside, ooh. you had to create tools to do it. Yeah. But you save yourself having to go into the shop to have it done. I had to create tools. 12 so, pack and a, and a butt roast. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.